Oh, yeah. Got my fat ass back in my big XL purple bean bag again, because, yeah, like the, uh, the uh, sofa he gave me is rock solid. I can only sit in it for about an hour or so, and then my ass goes so numb that I'm like, oh, I have to go sit on the floor. It's, the floor is actually softer, which is messed up. Oh, well, there's a level in you, I'm pretty sure. I mean, let's go to the, like, rocket, where the rocket is. Uh, there's a speedway, they don't really count for progress. Uh, done that one. I think we can leave. But I don't know if I want to leave yet. said. And then they just change their name. Uh, right, let's do the speedway. Let's just do a little bit. Yeah, so I'm really wondering whether or not there's just like, you know, a ban on like people showing Crash Bandicoot off on YouTube. But it's just like none of the YouTubers I follow are doing anything with the Crash game. Uh, and it just seems to be there's no content online at all about it. And so I'm like, why? I didn't pre-order it. It's like straight up, I can download it today on my computer, on my PS4. And like... What is this, like a relation to the Noid? Holy shit. So yeah, what else have I been doing? Fighting games. If you want to hear my Dragon Ball Fighter Z team? Oh. <laughs> is Gogeta, Vegito, and Broly, and sometimes I switch one or two out for Kefla. So it's basically just Fusions and DBS Broly. Uh, sometimes Janemba or Cooler get in there, but I just, oh, I'm drowning in honey. Okay, we did that. Badly, but we did it. like I'm just picking characters based off of their, like, the way they move, the way they look, 
on. And I do this in all fighting games where it's like, this character looks cool. I think he looks cool, so I'm gonna play this character. Oh, he's low tier? Oh, well, I don't care because he's cool. Oh, she's cool. Oh, the, the, the creepy bee is creepy. They can just outrun me. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, awesome. Uh, oh my god. And then um, people are like, oh yeah, like that character's low tier, and I'm like, I've never cared about tier lists, because it's not like I take it seriously enough to care about tier lists. Um, but, um, yeah, it's just such a, like, I feel like this is, like, what a kid would play, like, Gogeta's so strong, and Vegito so strong, and DBS Broly is also really strong, you know he's power levels maximum, and, you know, it feels like I'm just going, and my team will have Superman, and evil Superman, <laughs> and to be fair, there are some people who play only Goku teams or only Vegeta teams, and I saw some online play and people playing, like, two different Brolies, and it's just like, you know, you know, it, like, you can't judge other people, like, that's how they want to play the game, that's fine. You know, I, I want it to be that guy who has quite a wide range of different, like, design and styled characters do all the different things and I still do have ones that do different things they have different like functions within the team it's just they are all a bit like look fusion characters fusion characters everywhere because I like fusion characters I like their weird echoey doubled up voice I like the whole like opening to them <clears throat> I like their move sets as well. I'm third. Let's go and do the boss. I would like to exit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the speedways are fun. Hey, you actually got me to say the speedways are fun in a Spyro game, so <laughs> good, good on you. But I don't know. Something about the originals that I did like a lot more, the speedways, but at the same time I sucked at them, and they were like frustrating as all hell. So you, you know, it's like potato po nightmare. Whoa, his eyes came out a little weird then. Uh, nightmare fuel for me, so we're not going in the whale. Yeah, last one is Midnight's Mountain, but we have to go kill a random generated enemy. I would say that's one bad thing about the bosses in this game is that they're literally not developed more than, oh shit, we need a boss, he's moving world. Uh, we need a boss, we need a boss, we need a boss. Okay, invent a boss, look, a boss. And it's like... <laughs> Ripto had great foreshadowing of the bosses. You saw them from the beginning. Crash Bandicoot games, you, they're talking to you all the time. Yeah, 
Person is evil. I need them for a spell so I can live forever. Jeff Bezos? A, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? My hand might blast me in a different tone. You said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them. I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. You're terrible. I can't believe I ever listened to you. Neither can I, actually. <laughs> like... Insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. <laughs> well, this is gonna get real ugly. Don't even get to see him. Oh, he's a giant bear. This might be our last stand, Sparrow. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. I will endeavor to assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles. So exactly what the last two guys did as well. Ah, uh, fire bat, fire bat. Ah, uh, crab. I see. I really have to charge these so I keep my ammo. But yes, but the charge is really like kind of wonky. Well, I'm kind of wonky. I don't. Oh, helps if I don't just take dumb hits. He's on doing anything. He's just dropping crabs. If you told me this was just like a crab boss, I, I thought because he's called Scorch, he'd have like all these flame attacks, but I have the flame attacks. Get it. The feeling is weird. All he's doing is throwing ads at me. Crab ads, specifically. His health bar's going down. Oh, oh, he changed the ammo on me. Oh, luckily it keeps my old ammo. Ah, flaming them. Ah, oh, straight up he spawns another boss. All right, fair play. No, no. So you can spawn other bosses, fair play. But he's got such low health now that I'm just sat here like, well... You know, that was that was easier than the last two bosses, you know? The difficulty scaling's a little weird there. But maybe that's just me and I was just fortunate and I didn't see a lot of the stuff he was going to do. But it just felt like he was just throwing crabs at me, you know? 
Which I mean, if you wanna, I'd rather not add those though. All right. Well, that was kind of yeah. Anyway, well, we'll get through this game pretty quick. <laughs> I can't even remember the sorceress battle or if I finished it. I think I just saw a hundred eggs and was like, fuck that last time. Um, yeah, so playing a lot of Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Uh, oh. Hi, Bianca. Did you bring any more food? I'm starving. She's gonna mercy kill you. We have to take the cyanide pill, Hunter. It's the only way. Why has Hunter got such a shapely booty? My evil cackling boss turned out to be evil. Who would have thought? I trust you now that I see you're a hot chick. Hot bunny chick. Very strong magic. If you can find more of the dragon eggs, I think my magic will be strong enough to open the portal. I'll come find you when you have enough eggs, okay? Okay. Yeah, I think that's the one I'm talking about. I remember this. I remember this theme music because it was really bad in the original. That tune that you're hearing, that da, 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 da. it used to be like on this really horribly crunchy synth that would be like, uh, 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 uh. and it just be going round and round on the loop. And I think that's what made me drop the game. I just sat down and I was just like, yeah, this, this isn't good. 149 eggs. Oh, that must be this progression barrier. If that's the final boss, and not just like, you know. How many gems? A lot of gems. I'm the bear and took all my gems. I guess they'll give them back like they did at the end of two. It still seems like a lot of gems even incorporating what I paid old money bags. There, there's a hundred. But if you want to go home, you've got to clean out our entire house for some reason. Here's an egg. Easy. So we just need 21 more eggs. <laughs> I, knew, I knew it, but I thought I had enough, but I didn't. All oh, these controls are wonky as shit. Part that you know that completing the level 100% won't give you enough eggs. Mm. Uh, he's just walking by himself, which is nice. 
Oh. I was like, what? Buddy. Bye, buddy. Are a progression item. <laughs> and there are a lot of levels. Remember Winter Tundra had like hardly any levels. Chasing a beef. Damn it. Oh. Seriously. This is around the time I tapped out of the original game. <laughs> Mike and just going off this point, you know what, nah, and that being it basically. I mean we did a lot, it's just been only 22 minutes, let's just check this environment. We still got some stuff to find. Interesting names. So it might be good. Kill them all. They were spitting at me. Yeah. That's a lot of damage. I'm getting the feeling that he has to give you the money back because of the amount, but, but even then... See two gems. Gotta get the gems. Get the shiny. Yeah. Hi, 
high pay here, so I think, yeah. You've always had a weakness for helping silly little creatures, haven't you, Spyro? Oh, well, I suppose there couldn't be any harm in letting him out. Let's see what he does. Gave him a completely different personality. like ah oh, my mission yes very like I think it's been a long time he was not so hyperactive he was just like oh yes I was created by the professor to that's why he's called agent nine but I think they thought well you know so let's just give him like a fucking hyperactivity disorder instead and give him crackhead energy that'll make him more entertaining some of the changes they make is very strange. Okay, I'm gonna stop this one here and we're gonna get onto the Agent 9 section. I remember the controls being a little hard in the original, so we'll see what changes they've made. Because they changed a lot for Bentley and for Sheila, so. Okay.